man never reflects on love man takes love for granted when man doesn't meditate on the love of god when man doesn't understand the pain the price that love pays for me he takes love for granted and continues to live for himself the worldly meditation makes people in the so called yoga and other ways breathing exercise makes the mind empty when the mind is emptied the enemy comes in jesus said once the evil force that went away from you they roam in the world and they find your mind your heart is still empty they take another seven and they return back to you but christian meditation is fill the mind with the love of god do you want to experience god do you want to experience god's love do you want to grow in the spirit the secret is we need to find time and continue to bring to the mind what god has done in the word and constantly meditate on the word of god constantly fill the mind with the love of god with what god has done you sit somewhere and go through jesus and samaritan woman the whole scene comes to you the whole scene is being acted out into you how the woman was desperate she didn't want to meet anybody because she is a sinner everybody is abusing her so like other women who come in the morning she didn't want to come in the morning because she didn't want to face anybody because the people the women also they said why are you because of you our sons are spoiled our husbands are destroyed she didn't want to hear she avoided everything so she came in the noon you can see the desperate look of her i will go collect the water and run away home before anybody notices how jesus is hungry you can see the hungry jesus sitting under a tree near the well and this woman comes jesus sees that the need to bring her back to the father is more important than his own hunger so he kept aside his hunger instead of looking for the disciples who went to collect the food whether are they coming no he went to talk to her to transform her to save her yes he spoke to her do you know god loves you he never told her that i love you she may cling on to her him no many people in the name of counseling they instead of god gives people to us god gives friendship to us god gives people to have acquaintance with us that we may lead them to god but man becomes so selfish he steals what god gives to him and uses for himself he draws people to himself he tries to pluck the money from them people for himself he tries to use the body of people for their own pleasure yes man is so selfish and after done he thinks he is smart tries to hide use all kinds of techniques and that's what the samaritan woman did she was hiding everything 
but she was suffering with evil spirits jesus spoke about love jesus said god has a gift for you god brings surprises in our lives and transformed her with his love that she went back to the same village whom she wanted to avoid and brought the whole village to god love is contagious sin stinks yes now the same god teaches us love not only forgives and builds love also corrects us love also binds us we read in genesis chapter 4 when god saw cain planning to murder abel the love comes down from heaven and talks to cain tells him the truth why are you trying to kill your brother understand satan is sin is sleeping at your door be careful you have to overcome it otherwise it will overcome you and destroy you love wants us love corrects us love tells the truth love gives the light love gives the direction of course cain did not listen to god because his heart was already filled with sin god came showed him the way number one god said whether anybody is there with you or not i am with you i am concerned about you but he never he when he heard he was happy but he could not accept the truth because he did not accept the word and he did not meditate on the word he did not allow that word to go deep into him and he did not obey the word jesus said in john chapter 15 verse 7 if you in me and my word in you you will live this is the secret this is the key we have to take time it's not enough just to listen to the word the enemy is ready next moment to take it away knowledge pops us meditation leads to the savior knowledge alone is not sufficient if it has no roots meditation is the root of knowledge you hear many things the moment we go out we forget it because the enemy is battling with us and what we hear we take it time enough and meditate what does the lord tell me about through this word what does the lord tell me to give up give away through this word what does the lord tell me that i need to do through this word so you take the word into you and the word takes you to god to life like the root that takes deeper deeper to the streams you do not know small small tiny 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 roots go and join with until they find the water and my note we can't see even but the water comes through that outside it is summer but the tree is still alive because the roots are there 
Yes. Love doesn't keep quiet when sin comes to us. Love weeps for us. Love gets hurt that this man, this son, this daughter doesn't listen to me. We read in Genesis chapter 6 in the days of Noah when people did not listen to his word the Bible says Genesis chapter 6 verse 5 onwards the Lord saw the wickedness of men it was great on earth and that every intent of his thoughts of his heart was only evil continuously and the Lord was sorry that he had made man on the earth and he was grieved in his heart yes when man doesn't take the word and take into his mind and reflect on it and trying to hear the voice of God what does the Lord tell me it's not because that we don't get opportunity to listen to the truth. We fail. We fail because we don't take the word. We don't have time to take into the thought and heart and meditate on it. That's why in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 6 it is given. Take the word that I give it to you and meditate on it day and night. When you are working, when you are sleeping, when you are resting, you tie it on your hand. You put it on your doorpost that whenever you come out of your room, you see it. Whenever you go out, you see it. Whenever, wherever you move, it reminds you. So, write the word on your wall, on your doorpost, everywhere. Love reminds us. Love corrects us. Love tells, take care, warns us. But when we don't understand the love of God, he tries to bear with you until all my life is full of sin. Unable to be with us, he moves away. And that is the end.